He is kinda crazy. Hi everyone, hope you all have a nice week. Your boy Al is here with Kaiju number 8 episode 6 review so let's get started. At first we see Mina ask Okanaji for a status report on the Sagamihara location. Okanaji updates Mina on the evacuation, JSDF activities, and developments with the Hanju and Yoju. Mina discusses the problematic Hanju situation with Hashina, suggesting they defeat the Hanju at Sector Bravo to avoid conflict. She promises to handle the Hanju alone and wants the sniper team to take out enemies on Highway 16. Meanwhile, Hashina instructs Kafka and the others to prepare for their first official kaiju hunting mission. Kafka and his allies arrive at Sector E, where Kafka is stunned by the Hanju's large size. Hashina briefs several groups on the situation with the Hanju and its Yoju offspring. I expected Kafka to be a lot calmer since he fought with kaiju before, but it makes sense for him to be nervous, because from his perspective his first mission can turn out to be his last, if he can't prove his worth. Next we see he ensures each group understands their tasks, knows what to expect, and puts in their best effort. Reno calls Kafka, who admits he's nervous but excited about the mission. Reno hopes for successful results. Kafka's team heads to confront the Yoju, while Mina and others prepare for their part of the mission. Kikora defeats most of the Yoju, impressing her co-workers, including Kafka. Reno's team performs exceptionally well against their Yoju enemies, impressing his rival Eharu with his round switch strategy. However, Reno feels he's not strong enough and wants to become stronger so Kafka doesn't have to rely on transforming. The animation of this episode was too good, especially the action scenes were super fluid and well directed. Also not gonna lie, some of the comedy scenes in this episode were genuinely funny. Moving on we see Sector J's recruits are performing well against the Yoju, impressing the veteran troops, including their leader, Nakanashima. She notes the recruits' impressive performance, attributing it to the veteran's motivation. Okanaji updates everyone on various sectors' progress, leaving Kafka feeling bewildered and upset about his contributions. Determined to help, Kafka inspects one of the defeated Yoju and locates its core. He calls Hashina, relaying details about the core and suggesting that weaker officers attack the Yoju from the sides and destroy their reproductive rear organs to prevent further spawning. Hashina praises Kafka and instructs Okanaji to share Kafka's intel with everyone. What Kafka did was risky for him, but a very rational move for the team, and the defense force should have specialized people for these types of situations, so I wonder why no one else was trying to do the same thing. Then we see Kafka tell Hashina he'll focus on eliminating the defeated Yoju course. Meanwhile, Mina fires her large weapon at the Hanju, and Hashina instructs Kafka to watch her. Mina defeats the Hanju in three shots, impressing everyone on the battlefield. Despite the Hanju plummeting to the ground, Mina fires another round. Hashina then demonstrates his exceptional close-range combat skills by swiftly slaying a Yoju and tells Kafka about his family's esteemed history of slaying Kaijus. He explains that the captain and vice-captain of the Defense Corps receive weapons tailored to their fighting styles. Hashina instructs Kafka to prepare for battle again as Yoju starts spawning from the defeated Hanju's body. Although Okanaji mentions that the recruits are tired, Hashina believes this challenge will push them to greater heights if they succeed. Yeah, Mina is just as strong as I expected, but Hashina using a katana was surprising even though I expected him to be agile, because everyone uses guns here so a katana doesn't make sense. Also I think Mina should be a bit more open about her feelings. At the end we see Hashina argues that Reno and Kikoru have the potential to become captains one day. Meanwhile, Iharu and Reno encounter a Monster Sweeper Incorporated worker on the battlefield and question his presence. The worker admits to having loaded the reproductive organs inside most of the Yoju but is furious that someone destroyed them. He angrily demands that Iharu and Reno reveal who in the defense force uncovered his scheme. I didn't think that the intelligent Kaiju would reveal himself to the defense force so soon, but now I want to know what he will do in the next episode. It will be a bummer if he just runs away without Kafka doing anything. 
Overall it was a good episode with some great action scenes. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.